What is physical therapy? Your doctor might suggest this type of treatment if you've had an injury or illness that makes it hard to do daily tasks. Physical therapy is care that aims to ease pain and help you function, move, and live better. The principles of physical therapy have been around since the dawn of man. When people think of physical therapy, they think of someone who is trying to relearn how to walk after a debilitating car accident or some circumstance like that, when in reality, the act of physical therapy can be as little as rubbing a bruise or scratching an insect bite. Physical therapy is, as the American Physical Therapists Association defines, a form of health care that prevents, identifies, and alleviates acute or prolonged movement dysfunction of anatomic or physiologic origin. Physical therapy is used for all kinds of things, like helping young children overcome crippling birth defects, help stroke victims restore movement in their limbs, or it can help post-operative patients to a speedy recovery. But most importantly, it can help prevent those things. It teaches techniques to relieve pain and avoid it. How can physical therapy help? In physical therapy, trained professionals evaluate and treat abnormal physical function related to, for example, an injury, disability, disease, or condition. What to expect? A physical therapist helps take care of patients in all phases of healing, from initial diagnosis through the restorative and preventive stages of recovery. Physical therapy may be a standalone option or it may support other treatments. Some patients are referred to a physical therapist by their doctor, but others seek therapy themselves. Whichever way a patient comes to a physical therapist, they can expect to undergo a physical exam and evaluation including a health history and certain testing procedures, including evaluation of posture, movement and flexibility, and of muscle and joint motion and performance. Receive a clinical diagnosis, prognosis, plan of care, and short and long-term goals. Receive physical therapy treatment and intervention, based on therapist's evaluation and diagnosis. Receive self-management recommendations, Patients often train with a physical therapist in exercise that they can do at home to help them function more effectively. Benefits of physical therapy Depending on the reason for treatment, the benefits of physical therapy include pain management with reduced need for opioids, avoiding surgery, improved mobility and movement, recovery from injury or trauma, recovery from stroke or paralysis, Fault prevention, improved balance, management of age-related medical problems. A sports therapist can help an athlete to maximize their performance through strengthening specific parts of the body and using muscles in new ways. A healthcare provider or physical therapist can advise individuals about the benefits specific to their personal medical history and their need for treatment. Types of physical therapy. Orthopedic physical therapy treats musculoskeletal injuries involving the muscles, bones, ligaments, fascias, and tendons. It is suitable for medical conditions such as fractures, sprains, tendinitis, chronic medical problems, and rehabilitation or recovery from orthopedic surgery. Patients may undergo treatment with a joint mobilization, manual therapy, strength training, mobility training, and other modalities. Triatric physical therapy can help older patients who develop conditions that affect their mobility and physical function, including arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, hip and joint replacement, balance disorders, and incontinence. This type of intervention aims to restore mobility, reduce pain, and increase physical fitness levels. Neurological physical therapy can help people with neurological disorders and conditions such as Alzheimer's disease, brain injury, cerebral palsy, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injury, and stroke. Treatment may aim to increase limb responsiveness, treat paralysis, and reverse increased muscle strength by reducing muscle atrophy. Cardiovascular and pulmonary rehabilitation can benefit people affected by some cardiopulmonary conditions and surgical procedures. Treatment can increase physical endurance and stamina. 
pediatric physical therapy. Aims to diagnose, treat, and manage conditions that affect infants, children, and adolescents, including developmental delays, cerebral palsy, and other conditions that impact the musculoskeletal system. Wound care therapy can help to ensure that a healing wound is receiving adequate oxygen and blood by way of improved circulation. Physical therapy may include the use of manual therapies, electric stimulation, compression therapy, and wound care. Vestibular therapy aims to treat balance problems that can result from inner ear conditions. Vestibular physical therapy involves a number of exercises and manual techniques that can help patients regain their normal balance and coordination. Decongestive therapy can help to drain accumulated fluid in patients with lymphedema and other conditions that involve fluid accumulation. Finding a physical therapist Finding a physical therapist can involve a number of factors, including insurance acceptance, specialty and reason for treatment, and geographical location. Insurance companies often list of physical therapy locations who participate in specific health plans. Other healthcare providers may have a list of therapists in the area whom they recommend. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your family or friends. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell.